The Hip Hop Caucus stands with the people who have mobilized to defend the right to choose and uphold the right to privacy and protect civil rights gains of the past. What's up, everybody? My name is Chris Walton. I'm the Public Policy Director for the Hip Hop Caucus. By now, you've heard about the leaked draft of the Roe v. Wade decision. I want to share with you why this is such an important issue for so many people, especially people who are lower income and of communities of color. But before I do that, let me make it very clear. Abortions are still legal. Until the Supreme Court rules, you do still have the right to access an abortion. First, let me give you some background. In January of 1973, the United States Supreme Court issued a seven to two decision that the right to privacy protects pregnant women's right to choose an abortion or not. Since the 1973 decision Roe v. Wade, Roe v. Wade has been challenged several times, including in 1992 when the Supreme Court revisited and modified Roe's legal rulings in its decision for the case Planned Parenthood versus Casey. In Casey, the court reaffirmed Roe's holding that a woman's right to choose to have an abortion is constitutionally protected, but it abandoned Roe's original trimester framework in favor of a standard based on fetal viability, meaning where the fetus is actually in the journey of becoming a baby. Roe is currently being challenged in Dobbs versus Jackson's Women's Health Organization due to a law in the state of Mississippi that would ban abortions in that state after 15 weeks. When the plaintiffs argued the case, they argued for a complete overturning of Roe and a return of the abortion rights decisions to the states. Why is this a big deal? Overturning Roe, which is what leaked, the leaked draft is suggesting will happen, will remove the federal standard and protection provided by Roe and upheld by Casey for abortion and return the decision on abortions back to the states. This means many women across the country will lose the right to an abortion because some states have already made it clear that they will immediately ban abortions. 18 states currently have trigger laws that would immediately ban the right to an abortion in those states. That's just one implication of the Dobbs decision could have. Not only would the right to an abortion be jeopardized, it would open the door to lawmakers in these states to criminalize having a miscarriage, your right to birth control, and infertility treatments like they're trying to do in Louisiana right now. In fact, in Tennessee, lawmakers have already made ordering the FDA approved medical abortion pill and a telehealth consultation for an abortion, a felony offense punishable by up to a $50,000 fine. The Hip Hop Caucus stands with the people who have mobilized to defend the right to choose and uphold the right to privacy and protect civil rights gains of the past. This is especially important considering lower income trans and people of color will be most heavily affected by this decision since those communities do not have the resource to simply travel to another state for abortion services. Stand with us in support of the right to privacy and the right to choose. We stand united with you protesting and marching to protect your rights and encourage you to continue. We recommend you support the many frontline organizations that are leading in the fight for reproductive rights and the health and well-being of others. And we want you to please stay engaged. Don't ever let someone tell you what your rights are. You have the right to an abortion in the United States of America. And what this decision, if this is the final decision, will mean is that a lot of people will now have to return to the way things were before 1973.